Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign. Or actually kind of in the middle of a campaign, in which we're playing as England and we are going down a certain route to get a certain person, as you saw on the thumbnail. But, since I've already read all these focuses, I will begin reading some of these focuses that are new and different, but if you'd like to read them, please go right ahead. But it is January 7th, 1964, and a long, bloody, bloody long day, Revenge for Drummersdale. Okay, so if you want to read about this, please go right ahead as well. Where will it end? So... Basically, I've already played this once as Macmillan. So, now we're going to try to go down and get the other person as well for uh, to try out England. The rest of the English government. So, as you can see, this is where we end up with the divisions. But it is what it is. And, you know what, let's speed it back up and make sure we go as fast as possible. A barbaric escape. There you go. I remember this one. I definitely remember barbaric escape, but there you go. And the policemen fire their shots through the window. Oh, boy. And let's see, the economy deficit is not terrible. The growth is pretty bad. And the annual debt is, well, it is what it is. So, if you'd like to read about a message forward, there you go. As well as the end of a nightmare. Cool. The people need to see their leadership confident, for we have emerged victorious. Our Prime Minister, Alec Douglas, home. And a barbaric epilogue. God save the king. Absolutely. What are we building right now? It's been a while since I've actually came back to the save. Uh, in the meantime, technology is very, very delicious. And happy February, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. Let's get some better trucks. Just basic truckery knows. Let's see, you guys. Let's do boom, boom, boom. Oh, we might need that. A meeting with the king. Not bad, not bad. Oh, cool. And public service announcement. There you go. But remember, order now and 10% coke or anthracite. Whatever for. Ah, smoky. Ah, actually, pipes are really cool. I really like pipes. Pipes are really cool. Just don't smoke too much and you'll be okay, right? At least that's what your doctor tells you. Well, you smoke, I guess. But pipes are A-OK -okay on this channel. Cool. And eventually we'll have to kill off the Welsh and the Cornish. And all those good fellows that don't want to become united with us. Oh, those sacks of garbage. But then an announcement for everyone if you'd like to read about that too. And we do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm. Meeting Montgomery. That'll do. The military will sit up. What follows? Cool. Let's go. Oh, wait, no, we need to do the Oxford Trust first. My bad. We need to do trials before we can do anything else. Ha, ha, ha. And actually, what are division templates? Infantry divisions. Uh, oh, 10 combat width. Is that it? Is that really it? Militia is 10 combat width. Oh, my goodness. That is disgusting. Disgusting. Any occupied territories? Oh, a little bit of lag. And the German Civil War is still raging on right now, so. Uh, Barry contains... Uh, gains control of Algeria. That's nice. Oxford Trials. Very cool. Uh, I'm kind of hoping Borman wins, but last time I played as England with Macmillan, Goring won. So, yeah. We'll see what happens. Oh, wow. Oh, actually. How is the... Oh, military shot. Alright. Looks, looks still looking okay. And how's South Africa looking? Well, it doesn't look too great for anybody down there. So, I'm glad we're not down there. I hope you are too. Let's see. Artillery. We did, we're doing pretty well in artillery. Trucks? Guns? Tanks? Sure, why not? We'll get some tanks. Why not? And better artillery? That's a little bit ahead of time. Dealing the ringleaders. Of course, it'll be a fair trial. We got them opposing us red-handed. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. And people are just killing each other all over here. Which, Russia must be a fun place in this timeline, as long as you're not... As long as you're not the one in Russia, right? An end of an era. He did... What? A new focus tree becomes available. Alec Douglas Holm, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Have a good day. But we must begin with Rab Butler, and now it's on fire. We get the royal divorce, huh? Election season, change England for the better, vote for UE, stabilize the country, vote for the RP. Ooh, this is why we need so much PP. Oh, wait, who, who leads what? Authoritarian democracy, RP reformists. Well, Chesterton would be fun. Rab Butler. Ooh. Oh yeah, we have, to, we have to get these guys to win first. So, no chance to win, Mac. It's all against you. So this is what I did before, so... Off screen when I played as Macmillan. Um, we need to have UE. So there you go. Uh, there we go. Cool. I think only you can only get Thatcher going down this route and there's nothing else. I could be wrong about that. Can we get Chesterton in power? I'm not really sure. The Oxford Trials are very nice, though. Hire some translators. A German, Italian, a Japanese. The whole world needs to see this. Cool. And I wish we could modify our government, but we cannot just yet. 
You e support shall rise in all states. Oh. Well, I guess we can campaign now. The Royal Divorce. Now we can do it. Cool. Alright, so this is Royal Party. Well, that's not good. It's off to the races then. Cool. The Royal Party splits. So be it. Alright, so UE has how much support? UE, Macmillanists, and Liberals. 30, 30... Oh, 25%. Okay. Well then. Well, actually, you have 55 states, 49, 74. Ooh. That's quite ahead. Let's just do Oxford here first. We should be able to do okay, but you never know. I want to save her PP before we do any of this stuff too, so. <clears throat> cool. And the Octreta. Ah, uh, yes. I pray we don't make him a martyr. Add for popularity would be very good. 55 states. Cool. Oh, and we can do this too. My bad. It's all against you, Thatcher. Yes, it is. Oh, we didn't miss a single day, which is good. Hey, it's ours now. And let's go to... Ooh, East... 49, 74 would be really good. We could probably do this one. Add four more popularity for this one. We're going to slowly go through all these, so... It's not looking really good for us right now, but... Hopefully, with enough of our focuses, we'll do okay. The lad you're looking for just showed up on NBC. Cool. The last act of defiance. Okay. Darn it, this wasn't how he was supposed to die. Oh boy, it's all against you, Thatcher. And I think the royal party shall lose support in all states. Should gain a large amount of uh, support in historically liberal states. Um, You know what? Let's try the rotten party. The rotten royal party. There you go, if you're wondering about this. I just want to get to modeling as fast as possible, so. And here we go with 24%. Oh, that's 34. Oh, that's not good. Uh, oh, that's not too bad. We can do Sussex first. Yeah, let's do that one first. That'd be nice. Huh. This is definitely an uphill battle. A land of opportunity. A new life begins. A solemn duty. Very cool. A new life begins. War takes from all sides and gives little of substance. Cool. Oh, we have military budget boost. Which, I think we can probably... You can spend that. I don't think we really need to spend any more for the budget for now. Um, we're looking pretty good on everything, so I don't think we need to spend any more. Heck, we could probably even just cut it for now. It doesn't even matter that much. A Phantom Esc Escape. Oh, David Sterling Hunt, nice to meet you. The Trial of Harold Wilson, nice. So we got that one. Uh, we want to do that one maybe a little bit more. 32% is not bad either. Where can we definitely probably win? Oh, there's a lot of places where we probably won't. Oh, God. East Midlands. And maybe we'll go back over here, too. We'll see. The Welsh Revolution, somewhat free, definitely Welsh, and certainly an army. Cool, and then we'll do let's battle it out. A uh, large amount of support in all historically liberal states. Should we get a moderate amount of support? No, we're going to do battle it out. Ch battle it out, please, thank you. No, I, I, like, it feels weird not reading all these, but I just... I think it's for the best for now. Just because I've, I've already done this once, so... All right, oh, East Anglica? Anglica? East Anglia. Yeah, yeah. That definitely helped us out. East Midlands are probably next too. That'll be good. Slowly converting all these things. Death? Ah, yes! A letter received. The Scots replied yet, sir? What happens next? Cool. Oh, I thought we just got this one. Huh. Hopefully, we get some more support. We got two days left. Our martyred dead. Oh boy. He's not our martyr, that's for sure. Cool, battle it out. Hey, we converted a few more too. Nice, 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 nice. All right, 36. 33. Getting over this hurdle will be better than this one, but... Um, 31, 26, 25. There's a lot more support for those fellows up north. Ooh, we could probably do this one more quickly. Let's do that one next. And then a risky bet. This may backfire and get the money ready. Yeah, let's just, let's just do this one. I don't want a, a risky, risky bet, so... That seems... I don't want to play too riskily, so. A search for Jellico? Where could he be? Oh boy. And it's not converted yet, but the next one it should. Slowly converting everything here. One stormy night, at least it's over, right? At least it's over. Oops, I just dropped something on the floor. My bad. Oh, uh, do we just lose something here? Maybe not. 
The Resistance Blues, where the heck are they? Cool. North English... The Northern English Voting Treasure. Uh, Yorkshire, Lancashire, Northern England. Versus East and West Midlands. Will increase drastically. Well, the Midlands... Are those Midlands up there? Midlands, Midlands. No, the Midlands already like us. Yeah, the, we already we just worked on the Midlands. So I guess Northern England is really where we got hit them. The Voting Treasure. Nice. And hopefully we do well here. So they could potentially flip. Lancashire, nah, that probably won't. Um, Yorkshire probably won't either. So that's good for now. Uh, we're getting close to here. As well. It's easier to get this one done than this one. So, But this one's not too bad either. 13 though. 74. I'd rather get try to get 74 instead of 13. So, And we, there's no way we can get London. A new hope. The resistance is reborn. Oh god. We're free England. Oh, 32%. That's fine. Whatever. And the beginning of the end. Can we just get this over with? Oh, boy. Oh, that the, the, is the end of the trial, so it's fine. All right. And let's do that one, too, again. Come on. Come on. Focus is. Oh, there goes Tricky Dick. Oh, this is not looking good for us, is it? That's, what's left to sort out? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The end of the beginning. Let's get to work then. Nice. As long as we get this state, we might still be able to win. 93 is a lot, but that's 42, 11. 13 is not very much. 10, 3. And we have 27, 35, 51, uh, 55, 49, and then plus, yes, 74. That's good. That's good. That's good. This is dangerously close. I think we should still be able to win with this one, so... There you go. Try that. Just in case. Just in case they want to flip it back. Yes, do your signpost. Very nice. Very nice. With a stiff upper lip, we move forwards towards tomorrow. And. Nice. That's hopefully more in our ballpark. Oh, ooh. Newcastle. You might as well do that one, too. I don't think we'll actually get it done, but whatever. <coughs> Goring it conquered Speer, so be it, so be it. And the choice of direction, United England wins the elections. Cool. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And time for a new focus tree. UE wins the elections. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. A new dawn for England? Yes, it is. Modeling has been elected, my friends. He has been elected. Um, I think I've already read this one as well before. So if you want to read about that, please go right ahead. So I just I I feel so weird not reading these things, but I just I I've read them before. And I don't want to I don't want to say waste time, but we're gonna get definitely get a lot more influence and a lot more democratization here. So election season is over. That how does the the English voting system even work? I don't know. I just click buttons. More, liberal, liberal, oh yes, poverty rate yes. Industrial equipment yeah. I'm going to do that one too anyways. All right. So we we lost a lot of PP now. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Actually, I don't mind getting more loyalty as well, because that could be pretty beneficial. But, factory, yes, please. Oh, jobs are so good, though. I want jobs. Uh, but that's alright. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Anything up here, really? Any side benefits? Uh... Oh, we get that one. Macmillan supporters go up, though. We don't want that one. So, I guess we could do that one. What, before we click on that, what's our military loyalty like right now? Loyalty is 41%. Next month, the base loyalty is 40%. So, if you spend it now, what do we get? Military loyalty will increase. There you go. And now the base is 45%. Uh, it's going to decrease, so maybe boost it up one more time. Military loyalty will mildly increase. That's still 58%. God dang it. That was a waste then. Actually, promote. No. Dang it. Mm. That's why I keep spending. Keep increasing your spending. We can only get how much every day? Mac Mill Two a day! That's what that's actually really good. I love all those PP. Give me your PP and we can make things work out. Alright. And here in England, we believe in trucks. Trucks at work. Cool. Yeah, Civil War's not too bad. I should play the uh, other side of the government though. Or not the government, but the other dudes. Such as Himmler's group. Alright, so we got that. That's good. Can we grab this one yet? Yes, we can. Even better trucks. Ah, we're so behind in truck, truck technology. United England? Tomorrow's problem. 
England shall be free. And 58%. Just out of mind. I want more loyalty. Loyalty will moderately increase. That's fine. It's very inefficient. So be it. But now the base is 6%. I don't know why it's so low though there. Whatever. Yet as inside it's divided as ever. There you go. If you want to read that. Please go right ahead. So yeah. There we go. Reduce unemployment. That'd be nice, but yeah. <clears throat> All right, so we definitely probably have to do more of this. Mm, I don't want to hurt our stability though. Democratization will decrease. I don't want to hurt that either. Yeah, I don't want to hurt stability. Fifteen percent. My gosh. Forty percent. Three percent. One percent. I have a little more influence for the libs. Cool. And then meet the chairman. Cool. There you go. If you would like to meet the chairman, please go right ahead. So plenty of political power. Totally, totally have enough. Totally working on that too. And we gotta focus on jobs a whole lot. And we have no fuel, and we're still building ourselves up. Not bad. 2022, not bad. Alright. More liberal support, please. Reduce unemployment would be very nice, though. So. Meet with Industrial Johnson would be really good. Meet with those guys. Democratization will increase. Military loyalty will increase as well, but oh well. I tried. I really did try here. If we could just get one more level up. One more level, please. Deteriorating army quality. Oh, that is really bad. Meet the chairman. Nice. And then, meet the prime minister. The good old prime minister. The PM. Reginald Maudling. Industrial giants. Eh, we can kind of wait to do that one. There is the... If not selected... Oh, there you go. Uh, well... 35 military efficiency. We currently have... Oh, that's really bad. What if we did one of these first? Because we got some time. There you go. We have 35 military efficiency. It's alright. We'll get there. But we're still learning. At least I'm still learning this. Nice. I guess if we have to, we can do that. Meet PM Malding. Yes, please. Uh, I've already read that one, so if you want to read that one again, please go right ahead. Whatever process is necessary to achieve democracy. And how long must we keep this act up? Quite a long time. Follow up with Parliament opens. Nice. Stability? Yes, please. I want to do this more. Ah. Uh, political concessions would be nice. Oh, I'll just do this one. Why not? Oh, it dropped down. Oh, God. Well, I'll leave it at 60%. My little game here trying to do it like this was... Ah, uh, maybe a bit too adventurous, or maybe I wanted to do it too badly. That's probably that's probably what it was. The opening parliament. There you go. And from here on out, we'll probably start reading every single focus then. Modeling's democracy, my friends. What do we have here now? Alan licking his wounds on the world stage. Not bad. Military loyalty will increase as well. Case for action. And we have the new British Royal Armed Forces, and which we will go down with work with the OFN, which would be nice. But to protect democracy, oh, we lose political power. Oh boy, remember what. What was before, the liberals will get more support. The light of democracy never dies. Meet with the military. Meet with the liberals. Our partners next door. We hurt ourselves by minus 0.15% political power. Oh, I'm looking here to see if we get anything else here that will give us a boost. 5%? Um, that's not really much compared to 15. Daughters of Anglia. Learn? Oh, that's not bad. Push Macmillan to the side. Sons of Britannia debate. Um, I might as well ask you guys right now, which one should we do? Sons of Britannia? Should we do Push Macmillan to the side? Or should we do Daughters of Anglia Learn? I'll leave that up to you guys because I, like, I like getting your guys' opinion. So, Britons vote. We lose even more political power. Oh, that's so bad. We get Macmillanists. Liberal propaganda. That, that just, oh my gosh. I'm not, I, I don't want to go down that way. I don't want to lose PP. So, I'm pretty sure I read this one before. So, if you like to read about this one, please go right ahead. So, apparently this campaign is going to have us just flying through it just because I'm not going to read a lot of them. I could, but I've already read them once and I don't want to reread things too often, so. That's why, whenever I play Comey, you don't see the beginning of every campaign and do this Comey. So, huh. Oh, oh, the reason why he's still here. And we'll fix this eventually. Yeah, we'll fix that eventually. That's because we have a lot, we need more uh, influence for the liberals. Another problem? Ooh. Yeah, I think I've already read this one before, so... Something else to keep worrying about. Yeah, Scotland. Oh, Scotland, never change. Hey, slightly better PP. That's very good, very good, very good. 
improve many battle tanks. Cool. Do you have any tanks? The slogan to remake England. Basic art basic artillery. Wait. We have basic artillery? Wow, that's really bad. That's really sad. Alright, there that's it. Let's see. I'm not sure this. So original modeling racked his brain for a snappy slogan and came up empty. It wasn't for a lack of trying, he'd been working without sleep for days, coordinating with the Whitehall bureaucrats on the various details of the government's new economic plan. The result was a hundred page behemoth that defied easy description, encompassing everything from mechanizing English agriculture, investing in English science, and investing in the industrial heartlands. But the details were from and for bureaucrats. Now, modeling had to sell it to Parliament and to the people. He had no doubt that if implemented fully, this plan would transform England, freeing it from two decades of stagnation. If nothing else, the numbers would look impressive as coming from a low base. But the English people would see a country built from the ashes, the return of dignified work, and the restoration of prosperity. The English people would dare to dream again, to look at the world with something other than survival in mind. To know that the country restored to greatness would grow st greater, still greater. A land of hope and glory. That's it. Nice. An English economy, trade, I like the industry, so I'm uh, pretty sure this is the same ones before, so if you want to read about that. For all these focus on this part of the tree, if you like to read about them, please go right ahead, so. Alright, very good. And we're now we're just going to focus on getting more support for the Liberals. 67% for Macmillan, huh? We're going to probably liberalize the economy first, so England moves on. Oh yeah, there you go. Maybe these times will be better than the last. Nice. And we can get the same amount. Oh, that sucks. Uh, 55 political power is pretty good, though. Pretty darn good. Chester Tim, we have Modeling there, Macmillan, and Rab Butler. Why does he have so much influence here still? Huh. I'd love to reduce unemployment, but award the police? No, we're kind of okay for now. Photoshop with the police, that's not too bad. Maybe with Industrial Johnson would be nice. I don't mind doing that one too, but liberalize the economy. Civvies all the way. All the way. All the way with LBJ? Uh, you know what, screw it, we'll do this one first. Yeah, more democratization. I wonder, I wonder what that, that type of mechanic will do for us, so... That'd be kind of interesting to see. Doing some jobs, very nice, very nice. I do want to get Cornwall soon, hopefully-ish. And, oh god, Goring, you're going to win again. God dang it. Well, I guess I'll we'll prepare against Goring then. Because he is being very violent towards everybody. The fat man. That huge, huge man. Not bad though, that deficit already is looking very good for us. Keep building, 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 building. Yeah, we can close it out for now. It's not great, but whatever. Oh, and there goes Barman. That's sad. Well, if you want to read about... Uh, you know what? No, let's go here. If you like to read about a New England... No, not, not New England. Uh, on the world stage, you can go ahead and do that one. Just because I've read this before. So, there you go. <clears throat> Support weapons, too, are very nice, though. There you go. Very good. Support weapons, too. Up oh, now I gotta focus more on our military. Oh boy. On the world stage. Very good. The English economy is very nice. Hey, the GDP growth is no longer negative. I say that's pretty darn good. Alright. Yeah, I think that we'll do liberalize the economy next. On another civvy. One civvy's not much, but I'd rather have one civvy than not having one civvy, so. German intervention in Africa. Is this the end of peace as we know it? Probably. And hopefully things don't get very nuclear for this campaign. That would suck a lot. That would be very sucky. Very quite bad. Uh, hope you guys are having a pretty good day. Ukraine's looking pretty nice. But we'll see what Goring does. And who's going to unify all of, well, I guess Tom's, Bratia and the Divine Mandate? Cool. On the world stage is very nice. A New England? Yeah, I'm going to get Cornwall next, hopefully. Just because Goring is still licking his chops. And he's just recovering from the Civil War. So he probably won't intervene if we do stuff like this. So let's do that. And let's liberalize a little bit more. And let's liberalize if we possibly can. Democratization will regress? No, we're going to go full democratization here. 3%, I might want to wait for something like this. Minus 50% stability, that's not worth it, man. I think we'll probably go with speeches to the youth, maybe? 3% here. 3% and democratization, we might as well wait. Let's get some more PP first. That'd be nice. Today, come on, come on. And... Speeches to the youth. Nice. Chipping away slowly at Macmillan's popularity. Junior 60, yeah, we're going to need some of that just in case that a certain fat man might literally invade us, so. Military austerity? Spend, cut. Always good. 
Actually, we might stop cutting, though. Just because we might want to prepare ourselves for war with Goring. Yeah, probably. Dealing with Cornwall. Yes, the case for action. <clears throat> We're going straight into Cornwall. Straight in. No booty looking about it. Booty looking. Huh. That's very weird. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, baby. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Finish off that coffee? Oh, big sadness hours. 5.3, 39 billion. Man, I can't imagine having 39 billion dollars. That'd be insane. Alright, so we got 40 army XP. We're going to use that soon to increase our division. But then again, that would hurt our GDP, but whatever. A legacy of ink and paper? Nice. Yeah, I've heard, I definitely read that one before, so if you want to put that. Oh, South, end of the South African War. What happened? A right, distant horizon. The White Eagle flies once more. Okay, it's for action. Cool. You know, I've never played South Africa, and I kind of don't want to. <laughs> um, it sounds very difficult, and basically I probably have to finagle the, the USA AI to do stuff for us, so I don't know. We'll see. I'll probably play them someday, but we'll see. Little military loyalty, or influence. I don't mind that. What's the loyalty at right now, then? It's not bad. Oh, actually, it's going up. It's actually going up. Nice. We'll wait, then. We'll wait for that one. Uh, 40%. Regress? No, we want to progress with uh, democratization, please. Oh, no. One, two, buckle my shoe. You know what? We don't have to spend anything for right now. Yeah, I don't want to regress that, so. 1%. That's just not worth it, man. 1%. But happy 1965, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. More options, please. Oh, show, shoot with police. Oh, shoot, Bennett. Hello, Bennett. Thought LBJ would have won, but okay. I still need to play as Bennett. Yeah, Bennett sounds like a lot of fun. Democratization. One percent more, huh? Hurt them deep. Oh yeah. And let's go and ruin their supplies. Oh, ruin their supplies, please. Thank you very much. I'd rather have the a, all you guys be able to read each focus if you'd like to. I usually like to do that at this point. Oh, yes. The the youth. We love the youth. Because they're very influential and they might agree with us if we propagandize our opinion all the time. Anyways. Liberal support. 57%. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, I'll do it once. Why not? Now he's down to 54%. Nice. And we can close out of this for now. Ooh. 22, 25. Oh, that's not too bad. Efficiency is not very good, though, but whatever. Goodbye, depth. 1.1%. It's pretty nice, though. Nice. Ruin their supplies? Oh, let's ruin their supplies. And then strike their heart? Oh, that hurts. That would hurt a lot. Is shield broken? Looks like they'll even kill each other? Oh, yes. Yes, please. Photo shoot with the police? That'd be nice. Advocate for the middle class. Yeah, democratization is not easy to get more of. We we'll probably do that one next, maybe. Clean up the old guard. Influence is nice. It's, influence really isn't that difficult to get. <clears throat> it's just democratization, though. There you go. Let's see. Clean up the party. No. Loyalty. Loyalty. No. Ah, the pistol held to England's head. There you go. If you wonder about that. Thank you very much. And let's see who we're dealing with. An eagle in Germania. And let's go ahead and start doing the new British Royal Armed Forces, just in case. That'll be good. And we're going to go ahead and liberalize the economy in Eagle Germania. There. Let's prepare to clip their wings. That's very good, very good. Another civvy, very good. Nice, nice. Drawing up a plan, when the time comes, we'll be ready. Almost minus a billion, that's very nice. Montgomery's plan is very good. Is this a risk we're willing willing to take? Maybe. Probably. Let's hope so. I wonder if we get more support for the liberals. That uh, we get more support more quickly. For democratization, so. Assessment and debrief. Cool. We're not ready. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh, we can't do this one yet. We need Cornwall, so that's why we're going down here. So I guess we're going to go with English trade. Very nice. Yeah, this is Oh, look at that. 53% requesting American support. Our dearest friends from across the Atlantic. Yeah, a lot of this is exactly the same as Macmillan, which is fine with me. Totally fine. If you haven't if you haven't seen that, I really recommend looking and like viewing that campaign series, probably even before this one. But uh yeah, it was Macmillan's a lot of fun. He's a lot of fun, so. Mm. 
So my goal, I guess now, is for us to get liberal support. Maximize liberal support so we just get modelings, modeling into power. Probably. Modeling first. Uh, we're just going to go ahead. Just go. Just go ahead. We'll be fine. We'll be fine, I'm sure. But, uh, and then focus, no matter what, on democratization. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Sneezy boys. All right. Anyways. Uh, planes. Well, we're probably going to get it pretty good to get better planes. That'd be nice. Metro austerity. Let's not cut it down, since we're going to be invading them anyway, so we'll just be ready to go whenever. There's no reason... There's not to reason why. God save England. Very good. Oh, we have decisions about that now? Prepare. Should Trelawney die? I'm not sure that one. Let's try that one. Let's get that one done first, and then we'll do the other stuff. Uh, let's see. Protect the English system. No. Use our history. Should Trelawney die? Revanches them. Runs like a virus across England. Those who remember the jackboots landing on the shores look at the garrison with a scalp, fingers itching to take up arms and fight. Even though they don't look at the maps of their homeland and focus their anger on the black spot in the southwest, everyone knows that the situation is as it is cannot stand. In London, Harold Macmillan once again receives her defense staff. The defense secretary looks confident now. The boys are ready, he says. The current infrastructure and logistical lands could support an ongoing invasion for up to six days, or 60 days now. The odds of the invasion are being success have skyrocketed, however. He notes, if the forces were given some more time to prepare, they may be able to support an even longer invasion should it prove that the garrison is more entrenched than previously believed. Of course, the longer we wait, we can't afford to wait any longer. Now is the time to strike. You betcha. Prefer the prepare? Yeah, no thanks. Oh, we just go straight to war. Oh, that's kind of cool. Hmm. Ah, 50% now. Nice. I love English trade. Oh, and Indonesia goes kaboom. And of course, the lion will roar again. But unfortunately, Macmillan Spores will get 5% more influence. That's not good. Yeah, because we're right now at 50%. Um, you know what? I just want to see what happens. So if we're at 51%, Macmillan's influence is really going down. Oh, we don't change him. Darn it. Macmillan, get out of here. This is modeling country now. Cut down. A billion. That's really good. Nice. Uh, Colin, well, how many minutes have we lost? A thousand. That's not good. Versus two thousand? We gotta beat that German juggernaut and her puppet states. 41% government stability. That is very divided. Well, quite divided, I guess I could say. Democracy in Italy. Very cool. And we won! Look at that! Beautiful! I think I want to beat up some Welsh people. Go ahead and train, even though our divisions weren't that great. I will need to edit these divisions soon-ish, so we'll see what happens. And remember the dangers of fascism? Yes, please. That'd be good to do. And more democratization, please. And though Macmillan's going to get more support, which sucks, so... Really, I'm going to wait to do this one. We're going to need as much PP as possible, so... <clears throat> the line will roar again and regaining our freedom. Victory lap and 10% more stability would be very nice. One, two, three. One, two, three, and plus. Not bad. Do we have cores on this? That's... Oh! Oh, you can actually read about... I never knew that. State economy. Whoa! GDP per capita? Unemployment? Whoa. Unemployment, 0.246. What does that mean? Is that... I guess that's... Is that the percentage? 0.235. And London, unemployment is what? 0.239. So it's not that bad, I guess. The numbers... What do they mean? The population is only three, four, seven, eight. I guess that means three million four hundred seventy-eight thousand people, probably. Pakistan becomes independent. Good job for you guys. Uh, reduce unemployment. That'd be nice, but continue liberalizing. Oh, look at that! Oh, awesome. victory lap. So, if you like to about this, please go right ahead. Once more, we rally at England's call. You bet we do. Follow up with what? Oh, well, if you want to be about placating the Reich and undermining the Reich. And becoming our own, an arms deal, distancing ourselves, visiting the overlord, a false friendship, but a profitable friendship. Reaching out to old friends would be kind of nice too. Uh, we can join them pretty quickly, but let's keep doing the issue of industry. Yeah, we want more jobs. All right, so now he's back up to 54% democratization. I think if we get more democratization, we get more support for the liberals more quickly, probably. Um. I do want to liberalize first, though. I do want to liberalize. I want more factories. Military loyalty, loyalty. Yeah, this one's not too bad. Uh, but we're already this far. Let's take liberalized economy first. That's fine. 
One, two, three, plus. Nice. Minus 1.44 billion, not bad, as we're training all of our soldiers. Actually, I don't mind hurting them now, and by hurting them, I mean like converting these guys from militia to infantry divisions. That'd be okay with me. We're out of IFVs. We're making IFVs? We've got plenty of guns. Wow, look at that. The issue of industry. But let's go ahead and come over to where? Ah, Baratia, Soblin. Hello. All right, consult the generals. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Loyalty will go up just a little bit more, which is very, very nice. And very good. One, minus one and a half billion. That's pretty darn nice already. All right, so we still get 2.04 political power every single day. We got night vision as well. Very, very awesome. And uh, prove anti tank we can. Democratization. We'll increase a little bit more, but we're going to go and go do speeches to the youth. That'll be good. Tomsk unifies. It's already July. Wow. Where are we at for this? We're at 70%. That's really good. Loyalty. Ooh, we definitely need to increase this one. But we we need more PP. Like, this is going to take too long to get. 19% is not great. The difference of opinion. There you go. Monty's right. We'll stand on our own feet or not at all. Or Baker's got a good idea. Call Washington. We are definitely going to be working with the OFN. So, we're going to call Washington. I don't want to lower this too much. But democratization does go out. Meet with them. American equipment versus American blueprints. Versus uh, wave warfare. Which is not bad to get 10% more uh, division organization, which I do like. And bonus of land auctions. And lessons from the Empire. I'll leave this up to you guys. Which one should we do? American equipment versus American blueprints. As well as a new way of warfare versus lessons from the Empire. Let me know in the comments below because I, I don't mind doing that. Work with the offense. I don't want to greatly decrease this yet. I do want more democratization and stuff like that. But I think we're going to wait maybe first. Expand the coal mines. Uh, let's do this one first. Invest in agriculture. I think that would be a good way to go. That would be nice. And I'm not going to hurt her PP yet. No way. No flipping way. Support map. Oh, 50%. 50%. Not bad. Oh, military spending is not too bad. It's only 1.33 billion. Which is not very much, actually. Ah, DC1. Very cool. Very cool. 1, 2, 3. Plus. Nice. After agriculture, open more steel mills. Ah, jobs will be good. But two more cities immediately. <clears throat> we could probably use those probably pretty pretty nicely, so. And what is that? Medium pro thatcher elite bias. Ah, okay. Better flamethrowers, good, just in case. Let's get even better flamethrowers. We like cooking up wait, no, actually no, no, no. We like cooking up, but let's grab some more of this. Industry. That's a little more important right now. Cool. All right. Civilian budget boost. No, we got to keep spending that money. Keep spending. We're at, what, 20%? 19%, I said? 22%? Okay, not bad. Not bad. Remove the old guard. Clean up the party. Yeah, that'd be nice, but we'll see. We'll regress. Regress. More level support. 47%. Nice. And then we will do... Photo of the police? No. Liberalize probably some more. Liberalize as fast as much as possible. Expand the coal mines. And then we'll open more steel mills. That'd be nice. Slightly more steel and more jobs. Seems pretty good to us. More drill secures leadership. And eventually soonish, we'll probably have to deal with the Welsh. Yes, the Welsh. Those guys. And gals. We're the police. Reduce unemployment. That'd be so nice to do, but still. Yeah, it looks like we'll probably do that one too. Former democratization. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, but speeches to the youth, though. We'll probably do that one next. We'll probably actually choose this option whenever we can as fast as possible. That'd probably be smart to do. There you go. Open more steel mills, and then we're going to do fight unemployment. But where? Where to focus? And we'll maybe try to join the OFN too. But we'll see. We'll see. Cool, and let's go back over here and do that one. More max factories in the state would be very good. Are we actually making planes at all? No, the blue jet fighters? No, it doesn't look like we are. That sucks. Jet fighters, jet fighter CVs just in case, jet cast, and jet cast CVs as well. At least one on each. That'll be good. And actually, since we're here, we have 100 factories. That's pretty nice. Let's go and do that, and then maybe do a little bit. Uh, actually, just do like one. You really only need one there, so there you go. Cool. Sverdlos unifies Western Siberia. That's cool. Cut that down some more. 
and fight unemployment, but where? Now, last time I played Smack Mill, we went with this one, which is not too bad. The Rich South, unemployment. And then we also did the... We could have done this one, too. Honestly, like, the Poor North, I, it just... It's so good to do. As much as we want to decrease unemployment, I think this one... Just doing this one to get poverty is better, just better to choose. So I've... I gotta do that one. Decrease in the North. I'm sorry. But we gotta do that one, so... But if you like to read about these, the Forgotten Midlands, as well as the Rich South, please go right ahead, so... England revitalized will be good. Over the Atlantic, not here or there. Well, we can't do that one again because Goring is still leader. God dang it. That sucks. Focus on tourism. Invest in big banks. Invite big banks. The Swiss... Yeah, I want to do that one again, but the McDonald's. <laughs> cool. All right. Meeting with industrial giants? No. Reduce unemployment. We'll probably do that one, maybe. Liberal system. Progress. 25%. That's takes so long to do. The poor north. That's good for better poverty. And let's go do England. Revitalize. More jobs. Very good. Reduce unemployment. Yeah, we'll do that one next. Group anti-tank. Cool. Anti-air. It's kind of a weight. Pain in the butt to do, but that's alright. That is okay. Just in case. You never know what might happen. Cool. Speeches to the youth, yeah. There you go. So, we're looking pretty good for modeling. He has, what, 59%? Democratization is at 28%, so we'll see what happens. Is there a modifier here? The mild liberal bias. Government, st <laughs> Government stability goes way down. Okay, that's maybe that's not good. Um, okay. We actually lose political power because of that. A pro-Thatcher bias. Wait, do we have that twice? Medium pro-Thatcher bias? A medium pro-Thatcher elite bias. Okay, that is... Huh, okay. Alright, so be it. And business from afar, yes. We're still focusing on jobs a whole bunch here, which makes sense. Because we have to. Liberalize the economy would be very nice. But more democratization, please. Oh, uh, you know what? I'll, I'll do this one. We're going to increase his influence so we can get up to 31% democratization. That's okay with us. That's okay for now. 47 billion, not bad. Not bad. Oh, Ulster's here. Look at that. Also volunteer army. Ian Paisley. He got some big old sunglasses. Big ol' covers. Ah, covers. Not bad. Not bad. Regress new, thank you. Ah. Business from afar, just business. Cool. Oh, we can't do this one? Oh. Opportunity waits. We need to look abroad. Cool. And we'll do over the Atlantic. More jobs and more liberal influence. Very good. Very good. Because that'll help us offset when we're doing all this stuff, too. Nice. Minus 1.9 billion. Not bad. And a liberalized economy would be good. Oh, he's currently at 44%. Whatever we can get for more democratization, we'll do that one. Influence. Remove the old guard. No. Democratization will decrease. View the youth. 34%. Not bad. It, it just takes forever to get down there. It just takes forever. Oh, my goodness. How are we building? One, two. Oh, we're actually building cities. Or roads. Uh, do we believe in roads? Here, just do all that stuff first. London. More, more cities, more quickly. Roads can come later. Over the Atlantic. Cut. Invite American companies? Yes, please. Yes, please. Happy 1966, everyone. I do apologize for this being a weird episode where I'm not reading everything, but it is what it is, you know. Oh, and let's see if Ireland... They'll probably win. They'll probably win. We love American companies. I forget when. The thing with Wales and Scotland fires, though. I think it's probably 66? Because you need some time to, uh... Prepare yourself for Scotland as well. That's nice. Let's grab some of this for more factory output. That'd be good. Reduce unemployment. Award the police. Invite American companies. Good. And uh, open up offices in America. Nice. Two more off-map civvies. Very good. Very good. Democratization, man. Not even once. There we go. 3% more. That's fine. 37%. Nice. And modeling is still in the lead. We back Mac. <laughs> That's funny. This thing right here. We back Mac. Cool. 
Anything else here? State of English military is still pretty bad, that's right. Mild liberal bias. Do they not like the liberals? We're trying to maximize liberals here. A promising future is nice. That's good. And then, McDonald's. We love McDonald's. Cool. Oh, peace conference. Oh, Ireland has won. Good job, Ireland. Good job. Minus two billion. That's not too bad. All right. Speeches to the youth. Yes, please. Forty <clears> percent. <throat> now, does this, like, I I don't know. Like, at forty percent, that's that's pretty good. Democratization, because especially because we were like what twenty percent earlier. So I'm kind of wondering, like, what effects that has on us. Does it, I guess that would probably increase the voter turnout in the next elections, I suppose. So that that makes sense. But you never know. You never know. Uh, let's go and grab some of this military factory construction because we'll probably need that eventually. 55.27, 47.53, minus 2.3 billion, not bad. Equipment, besides anti-tank, is looking not too bad. McDonald's, and we'll go ahead and grab over the Pacific. Yes, please. Alright, so, up next, we'll probably go ahead and do... Uh, Liberalize is okay. 40%, we want more, 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 more. Um, regress, no, no, no regression here. More support. I'd love to do that one, but no. Regress, no. You know what? Screw it. Get 43%. That's fine with me. Oh, there goes Poland. Oh, boy. Goodbye, Poland. Poor Poland. Oh. General Bezirk Letlin. Over the Pacific, and then we'll probably do an agreement with Iceland, and Poland is dead again. Military factory. Not a aggression factor with the U.S. forces in Iceland. I wonder if they'll get a unique folk stream. Maybe it'll be removed someday, maybe. You never know. You never know what the devs might do. Oh, we lost some political power. That sucks. Oh, it's because of medium liberal bias, probably. And it goes Dietzland? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, how's society improving? So, nothing for academic base. Research facilities, no agriculture. Poverty rate is going quite a bit up. Industrial equipment is going up as well. Let's see. Industrial expertise is going down still. Professionalism and nuclear stockpile is not really doing anything there either. All right. Minus point two. It did quite well right there. All right. Speeches to the youth again. Yes, please. Yes, please. More democratization. 43%. Like, it seems like there should be something here. Red and green, like... Keep spending. And we'll keep cutting, too. Well, Goring, I hope you go to war with Italy. That actually sounds like a lot of fun to watch that happen. Actually, you know, we can wait. Let's do this one first. There goes Lutland. There you go. Wait. Oh! Oh, crap! I mean, I, I did the wrong one. Ah! <laughs> be the industrial giants, whatever. English goods on foreign shelves. That would be very good for more consumer goods. Construction speed, factory output. Very nice. And slightly more money. Very good. So that's basically what we did with Macmillan as well, which kind of is disappointing that there's nothing really different there. But that's okay. That's all right. It's always good to know what's going on. Oh, poor Ostland. And Muscovina is just a gigantic mess. Oh. Is this Yeltsin again? He won again? Okay, well, all right. We have the CSR, of course, led by Sakharov. Sakharov, yeah. And Slobin. Okay, cool. And Samara versus... Wow, Tukachevsky versus these guys, that is a little wild. But now we're done with that path. I'm going to save this for, for last just because I don't want to mess with that. Uh, work with the OFM. So, some won't admit it, but there is only one force in the world that can provide the tools or necessary force to counter the German Reich. The Americans and their allies have the factories, and they have the knowledge, and they have the technology to fight a war against the Hun. We do not. We don't expect the Americans to trust us at first, so they really have no reason to right now, since we defeated their proxy army a short while ago, but we can earn their trust by showing them some of our own. We will offer to work together to show that we are serious about opposing the Reich's designs on our island, in time. They will come to see why our, our England fights for their cause as well, which is going to suck for our military efficiency and loyalty. They look somewhat loyal. That is really bad, so we'll probably have to increase this one next. Yeah, let's maybe boost this one up just a little bit more. Retired, disloyal people now. Political concessions. Uh, what do we do with that? Oh, oh, wrong one. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the base is seventy-five percent. So, so even if that goes down, that's not too bad. That's why I just can't do anything else but like do. I'm not going to cut down our PP. We need all the PP we can get. We're even like increased military spending. That looks really nice. Please don't release awesome. That looks really good, Goring. Even though you probably, have yeah, a lot of resistance. What's the manpower for Germany right now? One to two million. Wow. To Logan Meyer. Dear Mr. Meyer, <clears throat> I regret not being able to keep in touch with you since the war has ended. Unfortunate circumstances prevented me from keeping in touch for the past couple of years. I've always meant 
been meaning to catch up with you when I got the chance, and now I'm able to with the permission of the English government. The Aver came for me a few years back and told me that you had stayed in the OSS after the war and progressed through the ranks of the CIA. Out of respect for the work we did together back in the war, I claim to lack any knowledge of you and what I gave them did give them was mis misleading and not helpful. I hope they haven't given you too much trouble and that you are aware of their interest in you. Recently, however, circumstances have come about where I must contact you. My government wishes to discuss an issue of great importance with a representative of the U.S. I immediately suggested that you should come you should be the one we talk with. It's a deal that we could that we could radically transform the alignment of Western Europe and this Cold War. If you're interested, come to Rome immediately and contact our embassy there. You'll get further instructions on how to meet with your contract from MI6. I apologize for any problems resulting from me contacting you at your work address. However, I lacked a personal address to send this to letter to. You would show this letter to your superiors anyway, and I have no issue with them being aware of this meeting. That should be enough for the OFN. Speaking of the OFN, we can do that one. But let's go ahead and do... Reaching out to all friends. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. And let's improve our relations with everybody, because now we have to focus on deteriorating army quality. Oh boy, 100! Wow! That's pretty bad. But, we'll get it done. We'll begin to slowly worsen. That is quite bad. Um, That is god-awful. Yeah, it's just cheaper to do this one real quick. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, hello. Oh, the American Senate tanks as well. Pragmatist, unified guess. How does it hurt our budget? It really doesn't. So, cool. Carver? Sure, why not? Reaching out to old friends, and then we'll do... If you want to read about these, please go right ahead. Then land down under. Not bad. Cool. Very, very nice. And Montgomery has anything here? Probably very offensive. And we'll probably go with max planning. And now we can prove this, too. Yeah, trying to democratize an entire nation. Not easy. Still, 1.96. Not too bad. Got that down. That's nice. 54.47 billion. GDP is 850%. Very good. That costs a lot. That is so bad for attack and defense. Very inefficient. Oh my goodness. But now, Mr. Lloyd's Outback Adventure. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. And a simple game of cricket would be very good as well. Now, where can we order a meat pie? OFN influence will increase. Very good. We do want to join the OFN. We definitely, definitely, definitely do. So now we're pretty much ready to go kill off Cornwall. Then again, when are the English not ready to kill off Cornwall? Heavy lay the crown. God to the king. Oh, no. Actually, I might just increase this. What, what is our base? 7.5%. Oh. Ah. We're at 46%. That's not bad. That's really not bad at all. The monarchy are born. Cool. The king is gone. Long live the king. Cool. A friendly match. Old hobbies ought not die. That's good. And restoring old trade ties. That helps out a little bit. Uh, that that just helps out just a little bit. Man, somewhat loyal. Oh, boy. Oh, that is not good. Especially, I mean, it won't be that bad against Wells, hopefully. But you never know. You really never know. Resources. Very good. And we'll go ahead and grab some more arty, probably. Yes. Wait, hold on. Yeah, we have, yeah, that's basic artillery, huh? All right, well, whatever. Nope, keep boosting it up. We gotta have that. 54.28 billion. GDP is slowly coming up on board as well. And then we'll probably go ahead and do uh, our greatest ally, probably. A land, a plane lands in Dulles. That's pretty nice. Yeah, we're, we're speeding through this pretty quickly, which is pretty nice. So, yeah, I definitely want to increase our... Oh, they agree. Jolly good. Yay! We definitely increase our uh, democratization, military efficiency. Definitely. That's probably number one on the docket right now. But I only do it when we have some more options without hurting our loyalty as well, so... Right, so come back down here. I'll do speeches to the youth as well. We can probably do this one too. That's fine. Especially with all these tanks. We probably don't need too much else. Unless Germany actually realistically really does invade us. Yeah, they really have not liberated also. That's really bad for them, but whatever. We'll take it. There you go. Hey, we're 49%. We're so close for half halfway to full democratization. And we'll probably get more of that when we actually go down this path. So let's do propaganda giant. We love the propaganda giant. They are good at their jobs. Yes, they are. Let's see. So we're going to go down this way, get more influence, which is good. We'll get some more influence support. Meet with the military. Moderately increase. Glad democracy never died. Democracy station will also go up there too. So I'm literally just saving that one for last, as you can tell. Just because PP is so important. Oh, 2.1%. Not bad. 
Support for Sweden? Uh, you know what? Let's prepare for home defense. I chose this one last time. I'm going to do it just in case. Sorry, Sweden. You're probably going to die anyway, so just saying. Liberalize would be nice, but whatever. Uh, do we have this? Oh, we do have this option from next. Yeah, I'll get rid of our inefficient, very inefficient high command, which would not be very good. Oh, nice. Well, there goes the WRF. Samara unifies West Russia. Cool. Loyalty will increase. That's nice. Efficiency. That's a little better. That's going to be an uphill battle getting this stuff done. Oh, my goodness. So we're going to go between loyalty or efficiency, I mean, and then meeting or with the youth. I think that would be good. While Germany made it all around there, that is... Oh, baby. Propaganda giant. Return of the Cowboys. We love the Cowboys. And we're going to keep going down with Macmillan. Oh, Canada. We have more options to watch it of a night now. Cool. Nice. The goal is to at least get the GDP the same as the national debt. Oh, we're running on things to build. Glad to look at that. Oh, boy. You are never done building. And when you are done building... You're going to build a lot of coastal forts. Loads of coastal forts. Here, right, let's come back up here. And do we have it? Oh! What do you mean we're deteriorating our armor quality? What the heck? Political concessions. No thanks. Actually, what, what percentage do we need to be here? 35? 35. Oh, goodness. Oh, that's such a waste of PP. Another country persuaded. Nice. Very good. Very good. A cultural exchange, yes, please. Oh, get more political power, too. That'd be good. Because we can definitely use that right now. All right. Let's go ahead and grab some infantry. 1962 guns. More defense and soft attack. Thank you. Anything there? Nope, that's fine. Somewhat efficient. Oh, we can do speeches to the youth, though. Arr. Why? Why? Oh, 2.13, nice. Even if we did, like, purge incompetent officers, or even retired disloyal officers as well, I don't want to hurt loyalty. I really don't. That sucks so much. That really just sucks. But after this, we'll do help me help you. Nice. We love Canada. Oh, yeah, I've been to Canada once. Yeah, only once, though. So far, the time is recording. Go back someday. Not sure when. But maybe someday. Hey! Yeah, cut it down. Cut, 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 cut. Alright, this was a waste of PP. That was such a waste of PP. And then we're going to do promote competent office. No, yes. Yes. That one. And then... Oh! Oh! Ah, Sweden held up for quite a while. That's not too bad for them. And we'll do closest cooperation. That'll be nice. Another building slot will be very good. And another city, too. We will not forget our international commitments in either. We stand against fascism in all forms. And the OFN can be assured that the one country in Europe stands by it in all things. Somewhat. We believe in some liberty. Okay, maybe it's 67 where we get Cornwall. Oh, no, Cornwall. Wales, Wales, Wales. And a chemical corporation's Vancouver headquarters. Canadians are so friendly. Yes, they are. Well, I don't know. Maybe. That's a stereotype, so... Purge them. Purge the incompetence. Not bad. That's actually not too bad. Increase the cut. Minus 3 billion. That's pretty good. And then we got a few more days left. Not bad. Bridge over trouble. Oh, oh now we get to deal with them. Okay, it is end of 66. It's the end of 66. So let's get this one done first. And we'll do tro trouble with water stuff, which is fine. Open palm, clench fist. And, boom. Mission rejected. The Americans refused. Oh, no. Oh, bugger all. Closest cooperation. So now we're locked out of doing other stuff for now. Dangling, bringing whales into the fold. If you don't need about that, please go right ahead. I think we'll try to peacefully reunify no matter what. So we'll try that one. That should be pretty good, though, right? Yeah, we get 30%. Uh, I, I can't imagine the Welsh military really setting up to us too much. I mean, yeah, our ability to wage war is not very good right now, but that's okay. Anything else here? Probably better roads. Yeah, we'll have to get the roads first. There you go. Anything else for this? No, that sucks. Okay. Um, coastal forts, land forts. I did this one before, so... There you go. Oh, repair cube? No, we're okay, we're okay for now. Ah, since we're here. Since we're here. Hey, 50... 52%. We got up to 52%, which is not bad. The Welsh issue? What choice do they have? They have no choice. Liberalize the economy? Not bad. The drums of war? Ooh. Wales will fall? Very good. Let's hope they fall. And they will fall. No matter what happens. It is 67. Happy 1967, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. Radar? Because we can. And then we'll have some better guns. Calling up the reserves? Very good. Infantry weapon improvements as well as defense. 
More must serve? Oh, wow. Holy crap. 40,000 more? Nice. Ready to RF? Take to the skies? Great. That's us. We're here. You guys are doing okay. But, uh, there you go. Boom, 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 boom. And there you go. Doesn't really matter. Put them, put them with their tanks. That's fine. Testing the Walsh. Launch the attack. Yeah, I don't think they'll be able to do too much. I mean, we did, we did cut ourselves too, but, eh. Eh, no surprise there. Cool. You guys, Big Red One. Thank you, America. We love America here. Alright, improve this stuff too. That, okay, so they're somewhat inefficient. Not too bad. We're at that base. That's pretty good. Not too concerned about that now. Good. And I do want to kill off the Welsh before anything else for now, so. We get, what, three political power a day now? That sucks that we don't, because we have more support for modeling, that we can't do stuff for Macmillan. Death to the FWA. Ah. Uh, oh. As soon as I started, it ended. So, we love Wales. But now we have terrorism, which we don't love terrorism. One step closer, effective unification, they're stuck with us now. All right then. So, uh, I guess Wells is ours once more. I'll probably do this one, or make it an official. Macmillanus, wait, why does, okay, everyone stay at Macmillanus and liberal support goes up, which is not too bad. So, but I think that's where we're going to end it here for us today, my friends. I know I didn't read a lot of the focuses, so this was a very unusual episode for me, but we pushed on very far so that we can get to the point where we can start reading really about modeling's effects on the economy. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we continue to see what modeling has in store and for democracy for England. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.